hi guys welcome again to my channel if you're new here kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so as to receive more tutorials from me and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it um, interesting thank you so in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to replace the ring okay <clears throat> what makes the sewing machine to make noise is when the balls inside the rings fall off okay once the balls falls off the ring will pull out so once the rings are out um when you whenever you paddle your sewing machine the rings will be making noise so let me show you the ring so this is the ring okay you can see the rings are out about three four of two of them or three of them the rings are out okay two of them the rings are out this is because the balls holding it are out so once the balls are out it would loosen this part and when you are sewing you will notice it will be making noise can you see can you see so now in this tutorial i'm going to show us how to change this okay i'm going to remove this edge totally don't turn it i'm going to remove the edge i'm going to remove this i'm going to change it and i'll replace it with another one so this is the new one okay this is the complete set this is the complete set so it is this one i am going to change but I'm not going to use the complete set because the other part is okay. This other one is okay, okay? There's nothing wrong with this. So it's only the head. This one I'm going to change. So that's what I'll show us in this tutorial. And the tools I need for this, I need a complete new one. You can get the same colored one, okay? You can get the same colored, as in the same brown colored one. But this is the type I got, okay? So, I'm using only the head. I'm going to keep this. In case I need this, I will fix it. So, keeping this aside, the tools I need for this project, huh? I need my screwdriver, okay? A big screwdriver and a smaller one, okay? Then, I need my spanner. This is a spanner. I need my spanner. This is also another spanner. The reason I decided to bring three spanners here is because you have to know the size of the knob here. This. Because this is what I'll use the spanner to lose. So you have to know the size. So I have my three spanners here. So I'll check which one will lose it. Then I have my hammer. Then I have my plier here so those are the materials those are the tools i will need so to get started the first thing i'll do the first thing i will do is to lose the is to lose the let me take the camera from the other side so that i'll show you so after losing it just use your hand to remove it like this can you see so can you see this is it so what will i do next next thing is i will take my spanner okay i'm using um size 18 size 18 of my spanner and i'll use it to this place will be a little bit um hard to lose but as it is you just yeah it's already it's a little bit hard like this spanner is a little bit small for it but i can manage to okay it's moving you can see let me zoom it a little okay so it's already moving can you see like so okay So that's how you lose and lose and lose it. So can you see? It has removed, okay? So beneath it, there's something here, okay? 
so let me just show it to us so this is how it looks like so it's this one that hmm? can you see so this is how it looks like so for this let me just keep it aside so the next thing i'll do i can remove it from here you can remove it or i'll go and lose the other side so let me lose the other side so after removing these parts okay so the next thing i'll do is i'll come towards these parts can you see i'll come towards this side okay so it's time to use the smaller spanner okay so i'll use it to loosen this um thing here so let me see the one that will go with it so you carefully use it to lose these parts let me position myself well so I can get it. Let me try this other one. Can you see? Then I'll come again. I'm actually using my left hand here. Can you see? So you keep turning it until. You get it can you see it's opening already so can you see i've opened this part so after opening it next thing is to use my screwdriver And I'll loosen this part. Here's my screwdriver, okay? So I'll use it to loosen this part. So, can you see? This is what came out of it. So this is what came out of it. So I'll simply keep it aside and carefully remove my rope is the rope remove the rope so can you see I removed it so finally so finally I've removed it can you see this is it so next thing is I'll lose this upper part can you see I'll lose it so because I, you know, I said something that I was only interested in changing the upper part. Let me get it. So as we can see, this is it. Can you see? This is it. So what this means is that when I want to fix it, I'll put it like this. This part will enter this hole. There's a hole here to enter that hole and this part there's this other one here this one I removed will enter from here and it will enter here okay so because what I want to change so this is the new one I bought this is the new one I bought so it means that I'm changing this head Okay, I can decide to change this head with this. I'm changing, I'm removing this. Okay, so what I will do is, you know, this is the old one. This is the old one. Okay. This is the old one. 
and this is the new one okay and this is the head so what i'm concerned about is changing this head i want to remove this head and put this here so what do i do i'll lose this then i'll bring this out like so can you see so now i'm going to fix this i'm going to fix this here so it will now come like this okay i'm going to fix it here so what i will do is i'm going to remove this this screw so i'll just take my um spanner So just be sure you are not tightening it, okay? So let me just do it like this so I'll be sure. So, I'll finally remove it. So, this is it. Can you see? So, after removing it, next thing, I can now remove this. You can see. Can you see? Hmm? So, next is. So, can you see this new one? Can you see this new one this is the new one so look closely those are the balls inside okay there are some tiny balls um tiny balls inside once the balls fall off look at this old one look at the old one all the balls inside the old ones are falling off okay so that's what makes it make noise it's it will make noise once the balls are out this is the old one i'm holding and see the new the new one can you see the difference see the balls the tiny balls inside those tiny balls are what keeps it firm so if i turn this now you can see so now it's time to fix it so after fixing it like so so next thing is to insert it here hmm? can you see to insert it here inside the flywheel this is the flywheel okay this is the flywheel so now i'll insert this here take note of this hole here there's a hole here okay so this hole when i insert it here it will come out here this part there's another hole here this is where i'm going to insert this screw here so to use to hold it but what i want to do is i will insert it like so can you see can you see it hmm? but i'm not going to allow this screw i'll just put the screw like this i'm not going to allow the screw to hold this one down because i still need it so i'm turning it this way okay so next is to insert it here bring it closer so next is to insert it here so for this i'll remove the screw and allow it touch there's a hole here too there's there's a hole here you can't really see from there there's a hole here okay where i remove that um, screw from let me show you the screw Where's the other screw? This screw. Okay, this screw. So, what will happen is, when I place it like this, ensure your rope, your rope is at the front. Don't go and put it at the back. You That will be a blunder, okay? Just make sure it's at the front like this, okay? So, I haven't done that. This part, you know this is where the screw is going to be. 
so I'll, i'm just going to roll the screw a little just like roll it like maybe three times okay so i'll meanwhile this one can still remove oh. so put it back and put it there's a mouth there ensure it goes inside or put this one first so what i'm trying to say once this clicks into here okay once it enters into here so the next thing is i will take the screw here see here this part i will now screw it in so that it matches with this if you notice let me take it back then i'll fix this this screw here this screw will enter into this okay such that they will align together like this mm -hmm. so it has freely entered can you see it has freely entered such that this can move freely so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to turn it so this is it okay so these parts once you this part okay so once you tighten it you just use your spanner and um, sorry your screwdriver and tighten this part properly okay you make sure you tighten it because i've already tightened it so it can't move okay see the way it looks like can you see can you see i'm giving us close shots so that we can see so once you do it that way can you see let me give us so once you tighten it so next thing you just use your spanner okay size spanner size 15 this size 15 okay size 15 so you just make sure it enters okay so once it enters so next thing is you tighten it you use it to <clears throat> you use it to tighten it mine is already tight already okay let it enter inside okay it's well cocked now so you just use it to tighten it properly okay so once you are done so by the time you turn your can you see how it looks like can you see so next thing is to fix the other parts so the last thing i'm going to do here is this you remember these parts so i'm going to fix it to this leg okay i'm going to fix it to this leg so remember this part i'm going to fix it back here i want to say something here per adventure your sewing machine has um it's kind of loose around here because most times the leg here might be loose so you just use pan and open this part okay so when you open this part so the next thing you do is you take your screwdriver and you tighten this part but for mine, mine is okay. Does not have that problem. Okay. I'm just telling you that as an added advantage. So now next thing, I'll just lose this. So I'll just lose this. Okay. So after losing this, I'll raise it up. Raise this up. I'll raise this up. Put this in. Like so can you see put it in then take this make sure they are lined together
Can you see? It has aligned together. So, I'm almost done. Next thing, I'll take my um, spanner as usual using size um, 18. So, this is to tighten it. This is this way we tighten it. That one will lose it. So, I think I, yeah. Okay, this is size 17. This panel is size 17. So, size 18 would be perfect for this. So, in the absence of size 18, let me just use this to... So this is just it so as you can see I'm perfectly done so finally I am done can you see can you see can you see it rolling perfectly well and it's no longer making noise that's because I've changed it I changed the edge to a new one that's a silver colored edge now compared to the old one compared to this old one all right i changed the edge so can you see how lovely it is if you enjoyed my video kindly give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to hit the notification bell so as to get notified each time i post another sewing tutorials thanks for watching